How's it going guys? Welcome to the third part on how to paint a Black Templar's Emperor's Champion. Now where we left off we were doing the reds. I'm going to start highlighting with Wild Rider Red, the gemstones, the eyes and the purity seals. On the eyes we're painting the front part of the lens, taking less area each time. And on the gemstones we're coloring the bottom part. Next I'm going to put a reflection of light with a white scar on the top of the gemstones and on the back part of the lens. Next I'm going to go to the white parts. I'm going to use a Lester Gray, Ultwin Gray and white scar and I'm going to lay them down in a transition like this like we did for the black color. And then I'm going to uh, start coloring the first darkest color. This first step is just uh, layering the first color. It's not really important to uh, to start mixing in other layers yet. You have to let this one dry. And try to cover as much area as you can, leaving the recesses on the darkest color. And then comes the second layer. We're going to, to use the second darkest color and lay, them, lay it down towards the top where you want to highlight. And because we have this very wet paint, we can uh, blend together the uh, darkest color, the previous, the pure uh, celestial gray with this uh, new color and mix it down on the shadows to get rid of the color uh, differentiation you can uh, make a better transition like that. And now I'm applying the third color. Here's a little bit more noticeable. But again, you can go, because we're working with wet colors, we can go and uh, mix them together to get rid of this of those uh, lines between the colors. And here I'm uh, already applying the white scar and blending the colors a little bit to get rid of those lines. Alright, now that that's done, I'm going to do the same thing, but with Sandry, Dust, Ushevti Bone and Screaming Skull. You can see I already laid them down on the uh, palette. And I'm going to start layering the tabard or uh, loincloth. And uh, yeah, start with the darkest color again. And leave the very recesses on the dark color. And start building up the highlights like so. Here I'm not really blending. I'm taking advantage of the shapes of the cloth to give the highlights and it's, it's really simple. Of course, if you find uh, large areas over the, uh, over the uh, cloth, you can try wet blending. It'll be really easy because you're working with a wet palette. And yeah, just do the same as we did on the shoulder pads. Lay the colors uh, beside each other and while still wet, you can move the colors around to make them blend. And uh, if you don't know how I made this uh, gradient on my wet, wet palette, you can watch again the first part of this tutorial. I do a gradient for uh, the black colors of the armor, and it's essentially the, th the same thing. Here I am laying the Yoshapti bone, and uh, I went back with the Sandry dust, or the darkest color, to recolor some shadows that I lost because I painted on places where I didn't want accidentally so you can always go back to the previous color and bring the color back until you're comfortable with it and remember I'm focusing on the uh, cloth but the, the same colors are used on the purity seals here is where I'm taking the uh, sandry dust again and recoloring some shadows that I lost. 
and uh, it's a very simple step. I'm using a detail brush to get really in the crevices and paint the shadows again. Next, I'm going to use the Balejo model color black and I'm going to scribble some ink into the purity seals. Just take the finest brush that you have and uh, try to make uh, very fine lines on the scrolls. Next comes the fun part, which is the blade. I'm going to use Calendar Sky, Teclis Blue and Temple Guard Blue. And this time I'm not going to make a gradient, instead I'm just going to lay the colors beside each other and give them a little bit of a retarded medium about a mix one to one paint and retarded medium and I'm going to lay the colors on the blade just try to take the lightest color on the top and the darkest on the bottom in this step we're not worried about uh, mixing the colors very well we're just making a foundation for the following transition and we're going to put the colors on the bottom and the top and wait for them to dry so that we can start blending. Alright, now that they're dry, we're going to take a little bit of the bottom color and the mid color. We're gonna lay them beside each other when where the two colors meet. Uh, and when they're still wet, we're going to dry the brush and start mixing the two colors together until you are comfortable with the transition that you're doing. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard to explain. You have to uh, move the colors around until the transition looks good and no color change is very uh, noticeable. Pushing the colors around up and down as you see fit. And this step can be repeated as many times as you like as you like for making a very good transition. For example, I think I did it a bit about three or four times. I let the, the first blending dry and then apply the second one. And until I felt comfortable with the uh, way the blade looks, I just stopped. So to summarize the method, you just uh, start by laying the colors overall where you want them to be the lightest color on the top and the darkest on the bottom and then you let it dry and then you can use uh, the wet colors of course the retarder medium will help a lot for the colors to stay wet you lay them be beside each other when you where you see the difference between the two colors dry your brush or clean it up very quickly and then uh, mix the colors on the miniature. I hope I explained myself well. I hope this uh, method works for you. And uh, yeah, this is the way I blend colors. And this is the finished model. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really liked painting this model in particular. It was really fun to paint and it kind of kept me interested in the paint job. I think uh, I, I really enjoyed the uh, process of it and I hope you, uh, you learned a thing or two. Certainly I did. I learned a, li a lot by painting this miniature and I hope the video was informative and helpful for all of you who are wanting to paint black Templars and as always thank you very much for watching leave your comments if you have any questions please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and check out my Facebook page in the description below so that you can talk to me if you would like and if you like my channel, please spread the word about it, and uh, that really helps a lot. 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.